Yeah, look, both those guys are really important. Uh, you're just trying to work matchups the best you can. But they need Justin Holiday and Aaron Holiday, among a lot of other guys, to play well against this Heat team. See the officials tonight. Mark Davis, our crew chief, Kevin Scott. And yet Aminas Petritus. Well, that was a great screen by Miles Turner, realizing that the Heat are switching every screen, so he screened his own man, and Victor Oladipo gets the three, but Jay Crowder comes right back and matches. All about Stan from the Miami head coach. Here comes T.J. Warren, the drive and kick outside to Turner. That's a three and a good shooting start for Indiana. So Miami, one of its first four. Here's Oladipo, puts it on the deck, takes out a bio off the bounce. Boy, looking spry, Stan, early in this game. It's the NBA postseason. It was a revelation here during the seeding round, had that 50-point game, but uh, has not been nearly to that level. Duncan Robinson. Take the handoff and knock down the three. That's why he makes such an impact. If he were just a guy who could stand there and shoot, a lot easier to guard. In with three to shoot, finds Holiday in the corner. Take a tough shot. And back comes Butler in Miami, up the floor, Crowder ahead of the field. He can pass, he can drive the ball, he can shoot the 17-footer. We see the drive right there. Adebayo, Adebayo just bulldozing his way to the rack. Here's Brogdon, has been their leading scorer so far in this series, not to mention their lead assist man. Huge off-season acquisition. Oladipo inside, magical finish. One of the ways you're going to break that down is to be able to drive the ball to the basket. We've seen two great drives by Oladipo already. Adebayo getting the looks he wants Adebayo. in tight so far. And no question. And Sabonis wasn't just their best player. That's bad enough. He was a guy they ran their offense through. Deanna with a two-point lead as we play under five minutes left in the quarter. Dragic inside Crowder, waltzing to the cup. Going to take 88% of his shots from three, but you will see him cut some, but a very rare drive. Warren, pretty leaner, and Indiana back in front. Going to be tough, smart, disciplined, and unselfish. Never easy to beat a Nate McMillan team as Brogdon knocks down a long two. Stepping into that starting lineup and playing extremely well against other frontline point guards in this league. This guy's an offensive force. He's gotten better defensively. Dragic trying to find an open seam. Here he comes down the paint. He loves that little patented step back jumper on the baseline. Dragic creates the space, and as you say, that's a patented shot for Goran Dragic. That's his first bucket, by the way. One of five to start this game. Oladipo again picks up where he left off. And for Miami, that's their fourth turnover. And then Hero nearly takes it back. Turner, wide baseline, tips it up and in. McMillan wants him to chase over the top and get a hand up on the shot without foul. McDermott, no, and there is Turner again. So right now still in the Indiana locker room. There is Hero, and it's stuffed in by Jones. Junior. Big news on Jimmy Butler. I'll keep you posted if I hear anything else moving forward, guys. All right, Rebecca, thank you very much. As T.J. Warren gets right back to work for Indiana to tie the game at 30. Here we asked Eric Spolstra you know, how he envisions getting none some minutes. He said, I just don't know where he fits. And now the opening with the injury to Butler. Olinick as none gets right to work, dropping a dime. Indiana built a great bench this year with the Holiday brothers, Doug McDermott, T.J. McConnell. But the anchor of their bench unit was actually a starter. Mm who came back into play with the bench, Bam. Sabonis. Adebayo. Shot clock resets to 14. Olenek now down low to the box to Adebayo. Hero, beautiful cut. Tyler. What a performance he put on last night. Eight seconds to shoot. Warren puts it on the deck against Crowder. Finds his spot, elevates, and sticks it. First four years in the league, he didn't shoot a lot of threes, and he shot 28% from three. But as hard as it normally is, no coach's wives have ever had to go through what Eric's wives and all the other ones have, and especially the ones with small kids. Yeah, this has been something Robinson. different, no doubt. Duncan Robinson gets the heat back on the scoreboard. Side out of Bayo. Boy, he was right there. Stan appeared to have an open layup. That's being a little too unselfish right there. Oladipo, splash! Big shot for the Pacers. Premier shot creator for them, as is Goran Dragic.
Robinson, good close by Justin Holiday. Out of buy of the drive and kick. Here is Dragic. There are great big guys in our league. There aren't many who can make that play. Average better than five assists per game. T.J. Warren with a three-point jack. Yeah, Spear, defensively, the Pacers are doing a lot of things well. They've got balance between their interior defense and their three-point defense as well. And is able to throw it out to Crowder for the three. Here comes Malcolm Brogdon. Tough shot. Left hand going glass. 11th rebound of the night for the first time All-Star. A beautiful five inside is out of bio, drops in a dime. Which I think is a good thing for Indiana. He has a tendency to float on the perimeter too often. Dragic, soft touch. Out with five to shoot to Brogdon. Little hop, skip, and a jump inside. What a finish in traffic by Warren. And another great cut. Four free throw attempts for Miami. They've only given them seven threes. They're doing everything they can. They've just got to get it going on this end. And Victor Oladipo's been very, very good. It's a rare bad pass by Adebayo. Here comes Oladipo, 17 points if you've just joined us. Out to Brogdon. That's a three. And here come the Pacers within five. He would tell me you should never wear tape on any part of your body like Jimmy <laughs> Butler is now because guys like him would go after mm. him. He said, all that is to me is a target. <laughs> Adebayo tracks down the loose ball, five-point game. Pacers do have a foul to give. It's Butler extending to the rack. Butler. Little weave action at the top, eight to shoot. Oladipo against Crowder. That's a step back, a three, splash. Make it 20 for Oladipo. And under 90 seconds left in the third. Heat looking for some offense. Hero just flicks it up and it goes. Into the corner, Butler. Here he comes, baseline, kicks out. Dragic on a three. Left it short. Dragic the rebound to the rack. Puts it down and beats the horn. It's Miami's shooting percentage now dipping down to 40%. There's 7 of 26 from deep. Turner. That's a three. He's the happiest player on the floor. No, just to be back competing. That is a three. They'll count it for Brogdon. Enormous play by Brogdon on a bio crowded out to Hero. Still plenty of time on the timer. Five to shoot. Hero finds his spot, elevates, and hits. That sweet looking stroke from Tyler Hero. With Dragic and Jimmy Butler, and now Andre Iguodala, but then those young guys have played big roles and been able to develop under the leadership. And they've always come up with these guys. Going back to the guy I mentioned earlier, Keith Askins, who had a great career. And now you look on this roster, Duncan Robinson, undrafted. Kendrick Nunn, undrafted. You want to win. These are the things you have to do. 14 points, 17 boards for Adebayo. Dragic elevating. Dragic. Get the ball to the elbow, quick handoff to Dragic to get him going to his left hand. He's able to get in the paint and knock it in. That is Oladipo, three-point answer. Can finish, can make pull-ups, can shoot the three, and he's an outstanding passer. All-star a couple of years ago. Here's Warren, puts it down, and he's fouled. This Indiana team would not quit. Nate McMillan teams will always compete. Iguodala from downtown. They're going to need some stops down here, though, now. There's only four and a half minutes to go. Hero thought about it. Tiptoes into the paint. Extends. Oh, Right-handed scoop. And that was a thing of beauty. Depot tracks it down. 3.40 to play. Here he comes. He's been so huge tonight. Warren from three. Got it. And he's fouled. My goodness. Pacers do have a foul to give. Here comes Dragic. Little fake. Textbook. The Miami Heat with their first playoff series win since 2006. So you basically let the man get a running head start to the rim. And then once he's in the paint with you know his height and his craftiness, he's pretty much unstoppable. He's unstoppable, um, period. Luka I would think is the that greatest offensive I would, basketball on, player since Michael Jordan. Hold on. I would I would period. I would think that period. I'm not gonna say that yet. He's the greatest offensive basketball player. I'm not gonna say that yet.